She insists on seeing the bodies of the spiders that I am before I am to receive any payment. She hinted an extra bit of a reward if I bring her husband's old boots and a bottle of wine as well. So there we go, yeah. What? Um, so yeah, excellent. We've done that quest at least. And um, we picked up a couple of other quests, didn't we, last night when we were on our booze cruise around the town. Um, let's have a look. Zerlong's missing boots. Pesky thief named Zerlong. Oh yeah, he's the fellow that pickpocketed me. Um, yeah, he's lost a pair of boots to some hobgoblins south of the city. And uh, who else is there? Sort by date, please. Half ogre near Beragost. Bjorn in a paladin currently healing from his wounds in Beragost, jovial juggler in has asked me to uproot a band of half-ogres. According to his report, they have been fortifying themselves in the mountains south-southwest of town. Make it quick. Okay, well that's all stuff we can do. Um, yes? First of all, though, mage stuff. Oh, right, we don't actually have any spells, do we? <laughs> I forgot what? about that. We actually have to get some spells first. Um, we have magic missile and we have burning hands, I suppose. I might as well write them both in. And for now, which would be better, I wonder. Duration instantaneous. Casting time one. 60 degree arc. Jeff, searing flame shoots from his fingertips. His hands must be held so as to send forth a fan like sheet of flames. The wizard's thumbs must touch each other and fingers must be spread. The burning hands send out a flame jets of five foot length, horizontal arc, about 60 degrees in front of the wizard. Any creature in the area of the flame suffers 1d3 hit points of damage, plus 2 points for each level of the spellcaster, to a maximum of 1d3 plus 20 points of fire damage. Those successfully saving versus spell receive half damage. So that's 1d3 plus 2 for each level of the spellcaster. So in theory we're level 2, so that means it would be... In theory, anyway, I'm not entirely sure, but in theory, it would be 1d3 plus 4 damage for us, because we're level 2, and it's 2 per level, so, yeah, 1d3 plus 4, so that'd be 4 to 7 damage, I think? That's not bad, you know. And magic missile creates up to five missiles about magical energy that dart forth from the wizard's fingertips and unerringly strike their target, which must be a creature of some sort. Each missile inflicts blob 1d4 plus 1 damage. For every two extra levels of experience, the wizard gains an additional missile. Um, so that wouldn't be as useful right now, I don't think. So we'll memorize burning hands next time we rest. Make it quick. A waste of my talent. And um Right, well for now I think I'm gonna head back head back to the friendly arm in and get some fairly straightforward, easy experience actually. Um Jahiri are probably gonna start nagging us soon about going to Nashville because we're wasting time doing side quests and I don't honestly care because we need to do side quests. We do. We really, really do. Speaking of side quests, I think there's one up here we could do somewhere before we leave. Um, it involves a bard. A proper bard, mind you. Not a terrible bard like a... Terrible excuse for a bard like Marcus. Ah, here he is. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. Hey, old adventurers, I have a proposal for you. I have heard that you're an excellent group of warriors. How would you like to, a well-paying job as bodyguards for my mistress? Um, sorry, we don't hire out as mercenaries? Nonsense! It's precisely what we do. Um, we're always on the lookout for money. Tell us more. I'm Garrick, and I work for Silky Rosena. She's the most skilled musician and actor on the Sword Coast. In fact, she's to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's done. But she's been having some problems of late. Some thugs have been hired by Felderpost to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at his inn when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up. 
What with a villain like Felderpost running the place, uh, she needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to, until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about three hundred gold. What do you say? Um, sounds fair. Why didn't you show us to this mistress of yours? I think you made a good decision. Now just meet me outside the Red Chief Inn. Or we'll alternative, alternatively we'll follow you to the Red Chief Inn. Whatever works. Except he's at the back, which is a little bit strange, but never mind. <laughs> okay, so here we are. I'm gonna quick save. Um, right. Yes, sir. This is my mistress, Miss Silky Rosena. Yep, yep, yep. She'll say that again in a second when I click on her. Greetings, my there you fairies. go. <laughs> I am Silky. So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you could find. I guess I'll have to do. You look to be worth about 300 gold. Well, that's what my little Garrick offered you, isn't it? Garrick is not little. Good thing you're an actress, not a painter. Would have been a problem then, being blind, huh? Because if you don't see for yourself how tall he is, you sure are blind. I offered them 300 gold, just like you told me. Well then, I assume that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I would advise you strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. One of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the wisest of men. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, Despin Extraordinaire. Here they are now, Felderpost's thugs. Strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. We're here as you've asked, and we have the... Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... Shut up. There'll be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. Hmm. Uh. Now then. This is interesting. I hadn't actually previously considered this up until now, this little dilemma here. What would Marcus do? Would he be just like, yep, sure, whatever, and go attack them? Even though they quite obviously have no idea what's going on and the silky woman is pulling the wool over our eyes. Or would Marcus take offence to it? Not because he has anything about, oh, they're innocent and we shouldn't kill them. It's more a case of, he kind of views it as being quite cowardly. You know, um... Sure, his alignment on paper it reads as evil, but he's not a common bandit, is Marcus. He, he, he has a, well, some vague sense of honor, you know what I mean? He's, uh, he thinks bandits and thieves, for example, are cowardly, you know. He doesn't mind the, he doesn't, he, his quandary with them from a moral perspective is not that they steal from people and take innocent people's things and do harm to other people. It's that he views that as cowardly. You know, he's a kind of a soldier through and through, if you like. Yeah. You know, um, he just uh, he he has a very ingrained sort of primitive sense of honor in that respect. Um, one that's not really so much bound up in kind of what is right and wrong, and more a case of what is cowardly and what is uh, valorous. Or whatever. It's a bit, a bit difficult to explain because I'm not very good at explaining these sort of things. But combined, combined with the fact that she kind of insulted us just a minute ago with the whole, or oh, is this all you could find comment? Um, I'm in, almost inclined to kind of go with this option based on the fact that Marcus would be kind of like, you know what? Screw you. We're not. We're not. We're not hired thugs. All right. You know, we're not bandits. You know. So, yeah, you could care less about these guys, honestly, really good, but, uh, and he's going to fully expect them to pay him something in return for saving their asses, but, you know, I don't think he would, um, he's not a, he's not a mercenary, he's definitely kind of a soldier, he has a soldier's mindset, not a mercenary's mindset, even though he's kind of like, well, he won't do anything for free, He's not one of the. He's, he won't unquestioningly follow orders, if you know what I mean. He won't. Uh, anyway, I'm babbling way too much. I think this is probably the most appropriate um, answer here, even though maybe Marcus wouldn't phrase it particularly 
exactly like that. So yeah, you know, stop this madness. We won't murder those who are obviously innocent men. He'd probably say something like, "Stop this, re you know, cowardly ruse. What exactly it is, is, is it you're trying to pull here or whatever?" So. Our deal is off! In any case, you're probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself, after I deal with you. Right, so there you go. That's all the provocation he needed. Um, yes. Fence of spin. She's kind of awkwardly powerful. Of if she manages to get her spells off and yep. stuff, so... Jahira, yes. um, what do we do with you? You can use your sling, I guess. You have need of me? And Khalid, um... Switch to your damn bow. Damn it. Use that instead. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said offensive spin. Okay, we interrupted the spell. This is good. Hey, there we go. The offensive spin paid off. Although, that said, was it even him that killed her? No, I think it was Imwin. <laughs> I think it was Imwin that killed her, but never mind. In fact, I don't think Marcus even got a single hit in that fight, but never mind. Eh, whatever. Kept her distracted. Now we take her stuff. Because she has some quite good stuff. Yeah, stop whizzing around, Marcus. Come on. It's over now. Enough is enough. Same goes for you, battle music. Be gone. Now then, you, gentlemen. I've got the best prizes this side of Cormier. We thank you for stopping the evil witch before she killed us. Here, take this as a token of our appreciation. You're damn right. What 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 did he give us? Potion of defense. Armor class set to zero. That's alright, I guess. Could be useful for Jahira if we get into a big fight at all, actually. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I won't begrudge them that at all. That was a decent enough bit of compensation there for saving their asses. Uh, oh, and as for you... I am at your service. Silky's dead. I guess she had it coming. You can't be evil like her and expect to get away with it. I'm out of a job now. Would it be too much to ask if I could join up with you? <laughs> of course, says Imowen. I mean, Marcus, he can join us, right? He's he's cute and he's a real bard. Yeah, a real bard, unlike Marcus. Um, <laughs> someone's going to write ballads about my beauty and bravery, you know. You, you, you truly think that I'm cute? No, we don't need anyone else right now. Be gone. Go away. He's lucky Marcus doesn't run that asshole through as well, honestly, because uh, he very much led us into that. He was in on the whole the thing the whole time, after all. Make it quick. Not a chance. Not joining our party, no sir. He's not a very good NPC anyway, so. Um, there we go. So there was that little distraction. Um, oh, everyone's leveled up. Nice. Uh, ah, right. Open locks. Do I want to put it in open locks? Yeah, I suppose I do. Except there we go. And she now has sixteen hit points as well. Oof! I don't. It's kind of annoying, really. Like we appear to be progressing at the same level of hit points as Imowen, despite the fact that we have higher constitution. But then that said, she has constitution sixteen. We have seventeen, and maybe they both provide the same hit point bonus. Maybe it's only once you get to eighteen it provides more. I don't know. Again, this is part of the reason why part of me is considering dual classing over to a fighter, just because I really kind of need more hit points. It's a wor I have worryingly few hit points, frankly. Um, I don't know. Yes. We'll see how we get on. Do um. No. Right. Okay. What? His uh defensive and offensive spin abilities are still just uh, one per day for now. Alright, well, that little scuffle out of the way. Um, how are we doing with health? Khalid's slightly injured. Everyone else is fine. Okay, then. Khalid's the only one who's not level 2 yet. He's not... Christ, Khalid, catch up. Damn you. You're, you're, you're weighing us down here a bit, honestly. And you're also in the wrong slot. Um, well, whatever. Now, I actually am going to head back to the friendly army. It's a bit of a trek, honestly, but when else am I going to bother completing that quest, honestly? If we leave it long enough, I'll just completely forget about it. So, I want to just get it over and done with, and I want the XP, so... Where the hell did... 
Where the hell is the entrance to town? Oof. Oh, it's this way. Been a bit disorientated there for a minute. Kind of wish I could zoom out a bit further in this game sometimes and also zoom in. Um, I think you can zoom in in the Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, actually, funnily enough. So that's a neat little feature, but you can't do a whole bunch of other stuff in the Enhanced Edition, so that's why I'm not playing it. As I believe I've previously explained, so what's the journey time? 12 hours to get there. And 12 hours back. <sighs> Fine. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. Just have to keep telling myself that. Mm. Alright, well, we'll go find this person. It's 11 o'clock at night. Screw it, we'll go find this person. And then we will grab a room. Or multiple rooms, rather. And then, the following morning, we'll head back to Berigost. I think, anyway. I mean, there's nowhere else we can explore out from here, I don't think, on the map. So... I don't know, I've not oh, tried going north, talent. so... Maybe I should attempt it, I don't know. Uh, where is she? She's upstairs, I think. As I recall. Upstairs somewhere. Of over here. Was it the next floor up? I know she's standing over here-ish, I think. Oh, wait, no, that's the... No, that's a different person, isn't it? That's, uh... That's the woman with the ogre belts. No, we don't want to speak to her, we want to speak to... Wait, no, is it? Is it? I don't know. I can't remember. But bother. Um, I'm going to quick save because I don't want to accidentally turn over the, the belt. A stout hammer will fix most any bandit. I'm so glad you. I can move home again. Alright, it is her. Good. Um, Bentley is a kindly man, but it is always best not to push favours too far. Here's 120 gold for your trouble. I'll just take those old boots from you. If you have any of my other possessions, come and talk to me again. Yeah, I have your wine. You cannot get better than the stability stone walls. Oh, and the uh, spider corpses. The largest of those pesky spiders in my house. With this one dead, I'm sure the others will have run away. You are too kind to an old gnome like myself. Thank you very much. Yep, and I have your wine. A stout hammer will fix most any bandit. There we go. Here's your 75 GP, and thanks for clearing out the spiders on your way through. You cannot get better than the stability and that's stone it. walls provide. There we go. That was everything, wasn't it? Um, yep, looks like it was. Cool. So we got some more XP for that. Um, Christ, we're, over, we're actually not that far away from leveling up again. Where to be speaking? Blimey, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> we're already at 1,700 experience, that's quite cool. Um, we're even ahead of Imowin. Which is surprising, really, because Imowin's normally the one who levels up first all the time whenever I play this game. Um, she's always way ahead of me on experience for some reason. Um, but no, we're we're ahead of her. I'm not ahead of Jahira though, she's steaming ahead with 2,401 somehow. Um, of course. Whatever. Yeah, the hit points thing is a bit of an issue, but... I'm, I'm told by the, the guide I've, I've read on the Blade class that it's all compensated for by the fact that I level up quite quickly. So, um, Royal once more. And drinks. Drinks, drinks. Drinks are good. A Luriaf wine, or Arabella and dry wine. Why not have both? Yes, more people are talking about the iron and stuff like that. No, why doesn't, why not give everyone something to drink? There we go. Now we rest. We have 812 gold now, which is pretty awesome. I should buy some more potions before we leave. Um, and maybe some antidotes as well for s just random encounters like the one with the spiders that quick. I've forgotten about. It is 8 o'clock in the morning, good. You must gather your part before venturing forth, yes, I know. I know, I know, I know. <sighs> well... Yeah, let's go buy some more potions, it'll be worth it. 